Hey, this is Aaron Chen, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you the four biggest tips that you can use this year in 2022 to improve your affiliate business, make more money, make more profits, and just do better overall. Now, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I always come up with content that will teach you how to become more profitable with affiliate marketing and internet marketing, so consider subscribing to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know every time we come up with a brand new video, all right? So let's just jump straight onto the screen right now. Let me give you my biggest affiliate marketing tips, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I got to over $1 million in commissions with affiliate marketing, okay? Selling other people's products, okay? And there's really four main things that I learned over these long, long years. I've been marketing online for the past 14 plus years and I made a lot of mistakes. I, you know, spent a lot of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars down the drain because I had no idea what I was doing. And then when I finally figured it out, these are really the four biggest things that turned my business around, right? So the first thing is really all about learning how to sell great quality products with ecosystems and upsells, okay? So it's not just about selling whatever product willy-nilly, all right? If you go out there and you sell a $20 ebook, I mean, you're really not gonna make that much money, all right? So let's open this up here. Check this out, right? Look, I mean, if you if you sell a standalone $20 ebook, I mean, how much money are you really gonna make? Let's just imagine that your income goal is $10,000, okay? So 10,000, one, two, three, divided by $20, you would need to sell 500 ebooks every single month in order for you to hit ten thousand dollars now that is very very difficult even for the best marketers out there and who really wants to make 500 sales every single month 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 after month after month after month that is really 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 difficult right so instead what you need to do is instead of stand selling a low price standalone product like an ebook for example you want to leverage products or services that have complementary upsells or ecosystems that have a suite of products, okay? So what does that actually mean? That means that what you wanna do is, is you wanna sell programs that have nice complementary upsells, so they start with a low price and they have little upsells that, that you know go up in value, up in price, and therefore you're able to generate more commissions, more profits, okay? Now, you're not selling you know people with something with seven upsells. You obviously don't wanna do that because you don't wanna piss people off, but you wanna sell great quality products that will really help your customers, and as long as the upsells are complementary and it's gonna add on to the main core product, that's what you really wanna sell, okay? There are people out there that sell uh, you know, products that have upsells where it's just a whole bunch of rubbish, you don't wanna do that, okay? So it is very important that you take the time to do the research and find the right, right programs. Another thing that you can do is you can find programs that have good ecosystems. That means that they have a range of products within their big suite of products, right? So there are some, you know, big uh, entrepreneurs out there that will sell a wide range of products and you can become an affiliate of these programs and you sell one product, but they've got a lot of other products inside of their range, right? And anytime somebody buys their other products, you make a commission too. And that just guarantees that you make more money. That's really, really important, okay? Now, what this does is it increases the lifetime customer value, the LCV, okay? Now, if the LCV of your potential customer, for every customer you bring in, how much money are you making per customer? If you're only making, like in this example, $20 per customer, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to get to your high income goals, right? But if your LCV is higher, so for example, if your LCV was say $300 or $400, that means for every customer that you bring in, you make on average three to $400, Think about how many customers you actually need. You don't need that many customers, right? So we did the math earlier. With a $20 example, if you were selling only $20 eBooks and the LCV per customer was $20, you would need 500 customers every month, right? But if your lifetime customer value of every single customer was say $400, so $10,000 divided by 400, that's only 25 customers. That means every single month, you only need to bring in 25 new people for you to hit your $10,000 income goal, right? Does that make sense? So you want a higher lifetime customer value and you do that by offering them more products, more suites of products or having an ecosystem that sells them a range of products, okay? So that's what you wanna do and that's gonna be a lot easier for you to hit, let's just say your income goal was $10,000 a month, it would be a lot easier for you to get there, okay? So I'm just gonna jump on my screen right now and I'm gonna show you some ways for you to actually find these products, right? So the best place that I like to go to, to be honest, to find great products is two places. The first place is Google, 
right? Now, a lot of people talk about networks, and look, there are great networks out there. There's ClickBank, there's JVZoo, there's Warrior Plus, there's Amazon, there's Share a Sale. I mean, there's so many different networks that you can go and grab products, right? But sometimes, these networks don't show you great places to find a nice range of products or products that sell ecosystems, okay? So the place that I like to go to really is Google. And let's just say that you were interested in weight loss or mindset or meditation or relationships. You would literally just key in whatever you're interested in, right? So let's just look for mindset affiliate programs. I would literally type out mindset affiliate programs up here, right? And I press, you know, the search bu button. And look, I've got a whole, you know, range of different articles where people list all out the different things. So let's take a look at this one, right? So people have already collated this information for you. You don't have to do any of the heavy lifting, right? So I'm going to click into this and just have a look at some of these programs, right? And I've actually, you know, gone ahead and have had a look at these and some of the programs they're recommending are actually really, really good. Okay. So the first one is Masterclass. I'm sure you've heard of Masterclass before. They sell a range of you know, tons of different products that teach you digitally how to improve different parts of your life. So whether it's photography or relationships or weight loss or learning how to play basketball, I mean, it's, it's a very, very cool program. So you can check that out and you can potentially start to sell products through, you know, Masterclass and start making commissions that way, right? Uh, but you need to check whether it is an ecosystem and whether you will make commissions on all of their other programs as well. And I think they do with Masterclass, right? Another really good one is, check this out, Tony Robbins, right? Tony Robbins is huge in the mindset and the self-improvement motivational space. And he's huge and he's very, very big into affiliate marketing and online marketing in general, all right? So if you sell Tony Robbins products as an affiliate, basically, you're gonna get access to um, basically a suite of products, his, his ecosystem, and that's what you want. You wanna be able to sell one of Tony Robbins' products, and then if people buy some of his other products, you still make the commissions because there is a 30-day cookie or 60-day cookie, depending on how Tony has set up his affiliate program, okay? Now, uh, I'm just gonna keep going down. Mind Valley is another huge one. They've, they sell a whole range of different products, and that is a huge ecosystem so that you can make more commissions, all right? And then check this out, Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy is huge in the motivational space. He's got a whole list of different products, and you can see the details here. You know, it's really good. I mean, the commission rate here is 40% commissions, that's really high. So anything above 30%, I would consider really good. So commissions between 30% and 70%, that's what you really wanna be shooting for. So for example, Amazon only gives 10% commissions. That's really low. You know, if you sell a $100 program uh, or product, you only make $10, that's really little money, okay? So you really wanna go out there and look for, you know, programs that sell commission rates between 30% and 70%, that's how you generate the most profit, right? So if we jump back here, look at the cookie window, it's 120 days, that's really, really good. So if you were to sell Brian Tracy products, if someone was to leave the page and then come back, you could still make commissions from his products in four months. That's really, really good, that's very long, okay? So, you know, and these are just examples. Legendary Marketer is also a great ecosystem, all right, within the internet marketing space. So if you're in the internet marketing niche, this is actually a very, very good program. They've got a great ecosystem and the commission rates are pretty high. Again, between 10% and 60%. Look at this, lifelong cookie length. That means if somebody clicks on your link and they don't buy right now, even if they buy in like two years, you're still gonna get credit, not another affiliate, which is really, really cool. That's actually very, very rare, all right? So again, just you know, in that short example, I've shown you a bunch of products that actually are all ecosystems. So you know, it's, it's a good idea for you to jump inside and do your research and find out whether they are ecosystems or not and whether they sell a group of complementary products and services where you can make commissions on all of them, not just on one standalone product that is 20 bucks, right? Because that's gonna be very difficult for you to make commissions. So I hope that makes sense. So that's the first way for you to start leveraging and making a lot of money is to, again, sell great quality products with ecosystems or upsells, okay? So that's a way that you can profit huge uh, in 2022 with your affiliate marketing business, right? So if you wanna find out exactly how I was able to get to over a million dollars in commissions, I would love to show you how to do that for free. I've got a six-figure workshop that you can check out if you want. All you need to do is go ahead and click the link below and register for that workshop and then just check your email. Make sure you check your spam folder because sometimes emails end up in spam these days and then enjoy the workshop. The second thing that's very, very important is you must choose digital courses and software 
over physical products. This is a big mistake that a lot of people that are brand new to affiliate marketing make. They think that they can come in, start selling a lot of physical products, and physical products, look, it can be anything from you know, an iPhone, for example, to a fidget spinner, to a calculator, to actual protein powder, to glasses, to t-shirts, to mugs. And you don't really want to do that. You want to sell digital courses and software over physical products. And let me explain why, right? So the first thing is everything is higher in terms of making money, right? You get higher commissions. So with physical products, because there is a cost to manufacturing that product, they can't pay you that much commissions. The commissions are generally very low. Like for example, Amazon, like I mentioned earlier, only pays 10% commissions. You're gonna stay broke like that. It's gonna be very difficult for you to make a lot of money. Actually, I, I sell a little bit of Amazon products on the side right through my YouTube channel. And after five years, I just got a check from them and I made a whopping $180 <laughs> over a five year period. Now that's not a strategy that I focus on, but just to give you an idea, the commissions are so low and it's so difficult to sell that you're gonna not make that much money that way, okay? So you wanna sell digital courses and digital software because the commissions are way higher, all right? Another thing is you can charge higher prices for digital courses and software because the value is perceived. Okay, so for example, it is much easier to sell a $3,000 mastermind where people can consume it digitally over a you know one week period or five day period, or maybe they fly somewhere exotic to check out that mastermind compared to selling, for example, a $3,000 pair of glasses. People are not necessarily gonna buy that. Does that make sense, right? So it's a lot easier for you to sell an expensive digital program or service compared to a physical product because a physical item like an iPhone, people already have an idea of how much this is gonna cost. Or for example, or lack of a better example, a calculator, right? This only costs maybe $5, but you can't charge someone $2,000 for this calculator, right? Because people know the cost of a calculator or the price, and they're not gonna spend that much money on it. But a mastermind or a digital training that will help people to completely change their lives, they don't know the price of that. And people are willing to pay a lot more money to invest in something that's gonna change their life completely, like a training program that will help them to lose a lot, a lot of weight if they've been you know, overweight for many, many years, or you know, improve their relationships with their spouse, right? Uh, or their kids or their family, or uh, learn how to make money on the internet, or whatever it is, anything that's gonna help them to solve a major problem in their life, people are willing to invest a lot more money into, all right? And the last thing is, it's just overall more profit, because when you sell something digital, you get higher commissions, they, they download it instantly, um, you know, the refunds, if there are any refunds are, are instant, of, you know, versus you know having someone to mail it back. Mailing is just a huge problem in and of itself when you sell physical products. The customer service alone is just crazy. So you don't ever really want to focus on selling physical stuff. You always want to focus on selling digital courses and software over physical products, okay? So that's the second thing, that's the second huge tip that I can give you uh, for making a lot more money and doing better in affiliate marketing in 2022. The third thing that you know you need to learn how to do is you need to learn how to not promote the product directly, all right? This is a huge mistake that people always make. And let me explain this to you how this works, right? So this is kind of the method that is being taught and proliferated all over the internet, all the way from when I started in 2009, all the way until now, people still teach this model. I don't know why they teach it, but it's a broken model. This is the way that you're gonna go broke, okay? Especially if you do it you know, in 2022. They say you need to find targeted eyeballs, traffic, right? And send it to your capture page where you collect an email address, and then you send people directly to a sales page, right? So if I was to do that, this is exactly what it would look like, okay? So let's just say, um, I was selling a self-defense course, right? And you can sell, again, you can sell affiliate marketing programs on anything, right? So maybe I create this little you know, video that's going to drive traffic to my website, right? So I talk a little bit about five self-defense moves that every woman should know. This is very cool. And at the end of this video, I say something like, if you like this video today, click the link below and I'm gonna you know, show you the, the defense course that I took that I where I learned how to do this kind of stuff, right? So people click on the link below and it leads them to, let's say, a capture page, right? Where you can capture their email. It might say, defend yourself, how to protect yourself in any situation so you feel safe and secure always, right? So they click on it to learn more, they enter their email address, and then what people teach you how to do is they say, send them directly to the sales page of that product. Okay, so this may be a defense product, right? And 
you're hoping that people are just going to click on this link and buy for $37 and then you might make a commission, you know, 30%, 40%, 50%, whatever it is. Now, here's the problem. Everybody is doing this, right? Everybody is just trying to do the hard sell. And when you do the hard sell, what happens? People don't buy because in 2022, people have seen ads left, right and center. What happens in the morning when you wake up? You check your phone, right? You check a news website, what do you see? Ads. You open your YouTube app, what do you see? Ads. You open Facebook, what do you see? Ads. You open TikTok, what do you see? Ads. You're seeing ads everywhere. So people don't like to buy like this anymore, right? People love to buy, but they hate to be sold to. Let me say that again. People love to buy, but they hate to be sold to. So if you are sending people from your traffic source, let's say it's YouTube or whatever it is, TikTok, Instagram, it doesn't matter, to a capture page, directly to a sales page, they're not gonna buy because everybody is doing this, all right? So instead, what do we do? Well, here's what you're gonna do, right? You want to sell people indirectly, okay? That means you never share the sales page directly. What I showed you earlier was uh, selling people directly. You're promoting the sales page or your product directly to people. That means that's really the first thing that they see after they enter the email address on your capture page or your landing page, right? So you don't wanna do that because you're shoving the product down someone's throat. What you wanna do instead is you wanna sell the product indirectly. You wanna indirectly sell the program, and the way that it looks is like this. You wanna, you know, it kinda of starts the same. You wanna drive traffic and eyeballs directly to a capture page, because you wanna capture people's information so you can follow up with them, because people don't buy straight away, right? It takes them a little bit of time. They need to interact with you about seven, eight, nine times before they decide they're ready to buy, because it's all about trust, all right? People online, they need to trust you, otherwise they're not gonna feel safe transacting with you online. The trust factor is what makes a big difference and how you do that is you add your own value piece right in the middle before you show them the sales page. This is the big thing. This is the huge thing that I learned in 2016 and when I implemented the value piece in 2016, it literally changed my entire business. I was able to magnetize people towards me and when they were magnetized towards me, I was able to build trust, I was able to build magnetism and that's when people start to buy, right? A lot of people don't talk about this stuff but this is the main thing that changed my business. So let me show you how this looks. How do you add the value piece, right? So this is how it looks, right? So this is a sales page but we don't wanna do this, okay? So what we wanna do instead is we want to kind of switch this around. So let's just start again, right? So you're gonna start with a piece of content that drives targeted people in your space, whether that's relationships, weight loss, drop shipping, whatever you're trying to sell, okay? Self-defense. It leads them directly to a capture page. We wanna collect an email, this is all the same. But instead of selling people directly to a sales page, you wanna create something in between that creates value. So something like this, right? So this is kind of my page, right? It's very simple, it's just a title on the top, and then I've got a video, and this video can be anything from three minutes long to 20 minutes long, it's up to you. You don't have to start with anything fancy when you first get started, it can be very, very simple. I started honestly just with a video kind of like this. I, was, I just held my phone like that, and I literally just recorded uh, a video of me talking for three minutes, and I was training them on the exact topic of what you're trying to sell. So if you're trying to sell a dog training program, you teach them a little bit about dog, dog training. If you're selling a weight loss program, you teach them a little bit about weight loss. If you're selling a mindset program, you give them one idea about mindset. That's it, you're not trying to give them 10 ideas, you're literally just giving them one idea. And that one thing is gonna create an aha moment in your potential customer's mind, and it draws them closer towards you. And that's how trust is built online. And this is how you really make sales through affiliate marketing. It's very, very powerful, okay? So this page right here, I mean, this is a little bit more advanced now, you know, but you don't have to start like this. You can create a very, very simple video and a lot of my students do that, right? And then all you do is, is below the video, after they've had some value, you say something like, hey, listen, if you enjoyed this video today and you wanna learn how I learned how to do all this stuff, I learned how to lose weight, I learned how to lose, you know, 15 pounds over the last 60 days, you know, how I learned how to build better relationships with my, my parents, you can just click on the link here and this is going to lead you to the program that I use to change everything. Now, this is your affiliate link. So when somebody clicks on this, link it goes to the sales page of whatever you're trying to sell okay and just by having that small little tweak you are going to increase your conversions tremendously and you're gonna make a lot more sales and this is a massive massive trick that you can use in your affiliate business if you're not already doing it okay so if we come back here again this is what it looks like traffic capture page your value piece and that's very important your value piece and then to your sales page 
all right? So again, don't promote the product directly, you wanna promote it indirectly. Right? Every time you promote a program indirectly, you're gonna generate more sales. Very, very few people are even talking about this, very few people teach this, and very few people even execute on this, all right? Now the fourth thing that you need to learn about how to improve your affiliate marketing business in 2022 is don't buy traffic. Okay, don't go out there and buy traffic from traffic retailers. That's one of the worst ways to generate any leads and customers inside of your business. What you wanna do is you want to learn to generate your own traffic. Now, why is that so important? It's so important because when you buy other people's traffic like solo ads or solo vendors, right? What tends to happen is these solo ad vendors, uh, if you've ever heard that term, what they do is, is they get a whole bunch of leads and they resell those leads to hundreds and hundreds of people every single month. So what's actually happening is they are bombarding their list with promotions every single day, right? If you're a customer of a traffic broker, right, of a solo ad seller, they will promote your offer to their list and other people's offers to their list maybe five or 10 times a day. Now, what do you think actually happens to that email list? Well, even if they had a million subscribers in their email list, after a while, those million subscribers they might be clicking on those offers, but they're not gonna buy, which means that you don't get any sales, right? And this is the thing that people don't understand is that the quality uh, of the leads that you're trying to buy from these vendors, right, is very, very poor. It's very low quality. So you wanna stay away from, uh, from them as much as possible, okay? So the first thing is don't be lazy. Right? A lot of people, a lot of affiliate marketers, they're very lazy. So they, instead of learning the skill, they want to take a shortcut. Everybody loves a shortcut, right? But the problem with shortcuts is most of the time, if they're the wrong shortcut, they don't work, okay? So if you're going to be lazy and you're going to try and go and buy traffic from somebody else that has very low quality traffic, you're not going to make any sales, okay? So the first thing is, is stay away from solo ads. There are a lot of people out there telling you to buy solo ads, don't do it. I've spent over 40,000 US dollars on solo ads and I could never get into profit. That's why I failed for so long from 2009 to 2016. This is really just part of my history and my story, right? So I don't teach solo ads at all. None of my students buy solo ads because that's not what you do. Okay, that's not how you're gonna make a lot of money. You wanna stay away from solo ads. So you wanna actually learn to generate your own traffic. And it's actually not difficult at all. It's actually very, very easy. I'm gonna show you a few places where you can start to generate your own traffic right now, okay? So the first place is, again, YouTube. YouTube is a very, very powerful place. I know YouTube is one of the oldest social media platforms out there, but it is the number one video encyclopedia website in the world, think about it. Next to Google, they are the second largest search engine in the world, right? You can literally come up here to the top and type out whatever you want. You can type out um, how to lose weight, and then you'll find a whole bunch of videos on how to lose weight, right? It'll just like kind of load up there. And, and imagine if you were in the weight loss space, you were selling a weight loss product, maybe a keto training program or whatever it is, and someone typed out how to lose weight and this was your video and somebody watched it. Do you think that you would get some eyeballs to yourself? Absolutely, you would. And, and so the video that you saw just now is basically um, a video that I created on affiliate marketing versus drop shipping, right? So if somebody was, you know, researching the industry and they were trying to figure out, hey, does affiliate marketing work or should I, you know, get into drop shipping? Maybe that's better. And so they typed out something like, uh, like affiliate marketing versus drop shipping. They would find my video there, ranking number two. They would click on it. They would get, again, look, it's a very simple video. It's just me talking away in front of my camera, right? Just giving them lots of value. And if they want to learn more, they click on the link below, they get to my capture page, and then they land on my value series, they get more training from me, and then when they're ready, they buy. That's how this works, okay? So YouTube is a very, very powerful way to generate your own traffic, right? Another way is influencer networks, okay? You may not know this, but just type out, just go to Google and type out influencer networks, and then you're gonna find a whole bunch of articles that will give you some of the top influencer marketing platforms to boost your campaigns, to get more leads, right? Now, one of those influencer networks is called Shoutcart. Okay, so if you, if you just wanna to head to shoutcart.com, it's very, very cool, right? This is shoutcart.com in the background, and if I wanted to find an influencer in, on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook, I don't necessarily need to build a big Instagram channel, or a big TikTok channel, or a big YouTube channel. I can leverage off other people that have already done the work if I have a little bit of a budget, right? So all I do is, is I come down to the category that I want. So let's just say I'm selling an affiliate product, an affiliate digital product or software, in the food and nutrition space, I would just click on that. All of a sudden, a whole bunch of 
influencers in that space that build channels specifically on food and nutrition, they pop up here. Now check this out, right? This person, Heavens, has almost 300,000 followers. I can do a shout out on their channel for $45. Ask yourself this question. Do you have $45? <laughs> Hell yeah, absolutely. I think you have $45 to do a promo, right? Well, you can do it on Shoutcard, which is really, really cool, right? Check this person out, The Bites, 813,000 followers. You can do a promo to their followers in the food and nutrition space for 100 bucks. Uh, Odd Guru, 423,000 subscribers or followers. You can do a promotion to their follower list for $48. Do you think that you can drive some traffic and eyeballs to your stuff using an influencer network like Shoutcard? Probably yes, right? So this is another way for you to start getting eyeballs, okay? Now another cool way, uh, and this is pretty new actually, is is Facebook Reels, okay? So Facebook right now, they're trying to compete against TikTok. So TikTok is huge, right? TikTok has taken a lot of the online real estate away from Facebook and even away from YouTube. So they're trying to compete. So Facebook Reels, at the time of recording this video, is actually very, very new. And so the algorithm is very fresh and they are allowing a lot of people to generate a lot of traffic just by creating these short little videos. You can make literally 30 second videos, 60 second videos, upload them onto Facebook and start getting a lot of traffic through Facebook Reels. So this is another way where you can generate your own traffic, okay? And here's another one, right? Instagram. Instagram is actually very old. It's kind of like YouTube, but it's still one of the 600 pound gorillas out there if you understand how to use them, okay? So I like to use them. You create valuable videos. You expose them to the world. People click on your videos. They click on your links. They go to your capture page. You generate a lead. And that's how you can start to generate a lot of traffic that way, okay? So if you're wondering, how do I generate my own leads? Well, this is how you generate your own leads. It's not that difficult, all right? Just remember, don't waste money buying other people's traffic because most of the time, especially if you're very inexperienced, you're gonna be buying very low quality traffic and you're gonna be wondering why you're still broke and you're not making any money, all right? So these are literally the four main tips that I can give you this year and that I've used to generate over a million dollars in commission selling other people's stuff. Really, this, this is the trick, okay? So I'm just gonna go over them again. You wanna sell great quality products with ecosystems and upsells so that you can increase the lifetime customer value of every single customer that comes in through the front door. You wanna choose digital courses and software over physical products because the commission rates are higher, you can charge higher prices, and you can just make more profit selling digital stuff versus physical stuff, all right? Number three, you don't ever want to promote anything directly. You always wanna promote them indirectly. I know that sounds really weird, but when you promote them indirectly, you can build value and people will get to know, like, and trust you and that's how you make sales. And the fourth way is don't buy your traffic, learn to generate your own traffic, all right? So that, you know, the traffic quality will be much, much higher. And when you have high traffic quality, that's how you convert your cold leads into hot buyers. And that's how you generate a lot of sales through your affiliate business. So I hope you enjoyed this video today on the four top ways that I know how to get some incredible results with your affiliate marketing business in 2022. If you got some value from this video today, would appreciate some comments below. Um, if you got some value, would appreciate some thumbs ups as well. And if you like content like this, remember we come up with videos like this every single week. I hope you enjoyed the video today and you got a lot of value and you learned a lot from it. Make sure you take action on the stuff that I'm teaching you on these videos, all right? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you know every time we come up with a new video. And of course, if you wanna check out another video, go ahead and click on that video and I'll see you very soon. Take care.